Hey everyone, it's Sequoia with BE The Code, and you are chilling with special guest Rodney Williams, CEO of Listener, an ultrasonic technology that I need you to tell me more about. Yes, so uh, first, thank you um, for having me. Um, Listener is an ultrasonic protocol, so we actually transmit data over uh, audio that you can't hear. So when we say ultrasonic, we just mean that it's completely silent to the human ear. Um, as a protocol, other protocols are like Bluetooth or, or Wi-Fi or even there's a, there's a number of protocols and protocols are, are just kind of set of rules or ways in which data can be transmitted between uh, uh, devices. Um, now, and, and within us, um, we are very similar to Bluetooth or near field communication where we are transmitting data. Um, and telling devices what to do. Now, what that can enable, um, you know, checking out faster. Um, you know, so using us instead of Apple Pay or, um, you know, even though we're an ingredient, will help empower uh, those type of experiences. Two things like uh, we're going to be powering tickets. Um, and, and in a very, very near future, you'll go to your favorite uh, concert and you'll actually open up an app or some sort and it will actually broadcast a, a smart tone or a listener tone that has uh, data and, and, and audible audio. Um, I mean, one of the solutions that will actually go live that's, that's pretty that's pretty fun is that, you know, one day you'll be able to buy some headphones or oh, a, a consumer product. Not not that it would be ours, but it would be we, our technology will be integrated. And, and instead of today, you bring out that, that headphone and, you know, you Bluetooth pair, you actually just open up an app. The app will essentially hear the headphone and the credentials of uh, that device being nearby and authenticating will actually all happen through audio. So we're just helping devices connect in more places than ever before. Uh, but that's listener. Dope. So that means I don't have to do anything. Like I can have my phone and whatever that headphone speaker or microphone is and that they'll connect themselves. Exactly. Or, okay. You know, consumers won't really know that we're there. Oh. Um, we're an ingredient, so we'll live in that favorite headphone. We'll live at that favorite concert, or we'll be a part of your favorite wallet or your favorite in-store experience. Um, but we are an ingredient. We we sell our technology to to companies, um, and we're a straight B two B platform. Okay, so according to Crunchbase, you've raised fourteen million dollars for this company. Is that yes. Okay? Oh, that's about right ish. Up north of fourteen million. A little bit north. Okay, so I know that there's this whole stigma like you have to be in Silicon Valley to raise money, but you live in Cincinnati, Ohio, and that's where the company's based. Yes. So how did you raise? Well, I think you got, if you have a great product, um, you'll get great news and you'll get great accolades, and eventually. I do believe that you'll get great investors. Um, so no, I'm not. I'm not in Silicon Valley. I actually am not a fan of it. Mm. You know, I think. Um, Why is that? It's just it's, it's irrelevant to me. Mm. I think that you got to understand there's some certain key things that are really important to me. I mean, and I go back to the discovery of the internet. What was the big idea to me was that it completely reduced the steps between the content or information that I actually wanted to get um, prior to the internet. It revolve encyclopedias or a library. So the internet is all about reducing steps. Um, the, also the internet and cloud and services like that allow for anyone with a laptop and a dream to actually create something impossible. Right. So if, if once the talent starts to become dispersed, then you start to see ideas like listeners start to be grown in places that you never thought. Because we have the same laptops you do. Right. And in some cases we have the same education um, or definitely the same background. So... Um, you know, competitive advantages, especially in the beginning, I think tend to even out. But um, I just, I'm just, not, I'm, I'm okay with it. You know, we have a growing office out here. And, and, okay, you know, so you guys have a satellite office. We do have a satellite office here. Okay. Um, and, and you know, in the near future, we'll, you know, in some point, some future, maybe we'll be somewhere West Coast ish, but it won't be San Francisco. Really? So where are you thinking? I don't know. I don't know. Um, I, I love, we, I love the talent that's floating around in like the Southern Cal, Irvine, mm -hmm. California. Mm -hmm. When you think of our tech um, as a protocol and the historical CE companies that have grew up there and Qualcomm being in San Diego and uh, you know Intel an hour away here but an hour away in Phoenix. Um, there's a lot of other reasons for us to be other places given what we ultimately want to do. Mm -hmm. um, so um, 
I think I think that could be a, a some sometime in the future at least. That's true because now they have like Silicon Beach and like now Snapchat is down there and all these other consumer facing companies, so they probably would be a good fit. Yeah. So I mean, like you said, I mean, it's it, it just I mean, it, it's you know, I like to say, um, the valley is cute. <laughs> Tell me more. It's just cute. It's cute. I like. What does it. that mean? Like I'm I'm a kid of the valley. Like you know what, what I mean by that is yeah you know the things that I read on the cool blogs about Sand Hill Road and all of the great investors. It's, it's nostalgic. Mm-hmm. You know going to visit Google and Apple. It's nostalgic. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I think that uh, you know even with cities like Austin booming and Southern Cal booming and and talent moving to the more places, um, I think the. It's, it's, it's irrelevant to me. I think right. The, I only have one goal, and that's to create a great company wherever I can. Dope. Um, and uh, and that's my only goal. And, and until that's difficult in my current environment, then I don't have any reason to change it. What do you think the next major tech hub is going to be? The next major tech hub? I actually think there isn't going to be a next major tech hub. Mm. I don't. I think when you, when you think about just what's happening, and, and, I, and I tend to be a part of it all, right? Um, you, I think... I think everything else will be dispersed. I, th- I think if you believe that there's going to be a tech hub, then it's then it, you're, you're you're kind of selling yourself a dream. Mm-hmm. I mean, Oculus mm-hmm. is in, is in is down in Orange County, right? Right. Uh, Magic Leap is in uh, Broward County, Florida. <laughs> I'm like, I don't right. even Outside, know where that is. Magic Leap is one of you know they they are a company of the future. Mm-hmm. I mean, I think I can't tell you their valuation, right? Um, but they're not here. No one's talking about that. Um, Atlanta has some incredible companies. Uh, uh, you know, so I actually think it's going to be much more dispersed. But hotbeds, I think, um, I just think it'll be more dispersed. That's all. Okay. You, know? I don't, you know, that's my answer. <laughs> so, and now you're contributing for Forbes. So what's that like? You know, that's cool. You know, it's, it's, it's interesting that, you know, I'm always like, I'm always shocked of when, you know, we get acknowledgement or, you know, accolades and things. And it came to us and said, hey, we, you, we want you to talk. And I'm like, I don't know if people really know about us. Mm-hmm. Um, but, you know, I think it's, called, it's cool because I, I, my articles are going to be actually from my heart and actually things that I think are important for people to, to understand and, and deal with. And the perspective is not going, you know, our road, there's nothing about our road that looks like a road that someone has done before. Right. You know, it's Midwest. I look the way I look. Um, um, my background is very different. Um, and I'm doing something that's extremely technical. Right. Um, which is a lot of different, 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 different. Yeah. Uh, so uh, it's, it's. I think, my perspective when it comes to, um, like, you know, entrepreneurship and technology, I think it's going to be completely different and new. And that's, that's fun. That's dope. You hit the nail on the head because I read that bio like four times and I was like, I don't know what this company does. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. That's good. You know, I told my mom I would, you know, I never wanted to do something. And I'm not saying anything is simple, but, um, you know, I, I've always had these ideas and always had the ability to create and build. And I think I always wanted to do something that could potentially change everything, mm-hmm. you know, and, you know, Really early in our days, I used to show a picture of, you know, you go to your phone, you go to settings, and right when you can see your Bluetooth and your Wi-Fi, and I would put listener. I mean, we want to be next to the Bluetooth oh. button, and that was our goal. And uh, that's the impact that we ultimately want to go out and do, and uh, I think we're on our way. Awesome. All right, we're going to play a game. Yeah. Two truths and a lie. <laughs> so you're going to tell me two truths and a lie, but you're not going to tell me which one is which, and then I'm going to guess which one is the lie. Okay. Get creative. Make it fun. <laughs> All right, ready? Yes. All right, cool. Go. Two truths and a lie. This is funny. So uh, I used to be a Division One athlete. Okay. Um, uh, um, <laughs> I'm about to give you all. So anyway, this is so, good. Um, I uh, I used to have a record deal. Okay. Um, and the final is um, um, I have uh, five degrees. Oh my god. Okay. Um. Record deal, five degrees in Division One athlete. Those are all outstanding accomplishments. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go with the lie is the five degrees. Yes. 
right. Okay. So tell me about this record deal and Division One athlete. And what happened? And, you know, I used to. So I think I actually live nine lives, and I'm pretty proud about it. Uh huh. Because I've I've done a little bit of everything. But um, yeah. And growing up in Baltimore, uh, at 15 years old, I, I did a talent show. Okay. And I and we I won, and me and my my rap group won, and it was actually like a. And you got to meet like Kevin Lyles, and okay. long story short, I got this local record deal. Well, Atlantic Records, Def Jam. I don't know what it was. <laughs> I don't know what it was. My my brother at the time got into some trouble, and my mom was like, "Guess who's not about to be a rapper?" <laughs> I was like, "You know, I didn't even like rap. <laughs> I'm smart." Uh, so that, that was the end of my rap career. Okay. But uh, I had I so had, so they're not any hidden bars that you could spit. I mean, I did have a single on the on the record on a, on the radio station in Baltimore. Okay. For a summer, I don't know what ever happened to that. I can't find it. Can we get a sample? I hope not. I no, I mean, from you, like uh, currently, nah. like right now. Nah, unfortunately. Not at all. Nah, I think you gotta move things. You gotta move on. <laughs> Yeah, let things you let the past in the past. Let the past in the past. I feel it. I feel it. Okay. <laughs> so that's cool. So Division One athlete, tell me about that. Yes. So I ran track. Um, I played football for a bit. Okay. Uh, but I, I, I ran track. Um, it was really fast. Um, I thought I was going to make it to the league. And then? I got hurt. Okay. I got hurt. I, I was a I was a I was a good athlete. I okay. Was, I was a little insane athlete. Uh. So my, my family's from Jamaica, so Okay. Speed is everything. Yes. Y'all are getting in. <laughs> <laughs> so that's dope. What do you think is the secret sauce to staying relevant and thriving in the tech industry? Yeah, you know, I'm I'm a big you know, I, we had our annual meeting uh, uh on a couple a week and a half ago and I went through you know, a, a series of slides that was titled Our Hustle and, and Who We Are. And I have a rule. You know, everyone thinks that we have, like, great PR and great press. And mm-hmm. I have a rule, and it's, you know, you either do great things with great companies and, you know, people are going to talk, mm-hmm. you know. And if, if we're not doing those things, then we're not relevant, our product isn't great, then we don't have, we shouldn't exist. But, you know... I ex- every room, every pitch, every person we talk to, I expect them to turn around and say "Wow" and move forward with us, and 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 and, and that's that's all it is. Um, and I and I think that's important. I think that you know sometimes I think my environment or my community tends to be okay with base hits, mm. and um, that's not my intention. Cool. So how do people <laughs> find you? Yes, yeah, so I'm I'm pretty accessible. I think. Uh, all my uh, handles are Rodney B. Williams. So I'm, you know, on Twitter, Instagram. Um, and then my, my email is actually Rodney at L-I-S-N-R dot com. I actually answer every email. Every email. I love that. So like a, a, a true story, an entrepreneur out of Charlotte, North Carolina, out of nowhere, he emails me and says, I want to come shadow you for the day. Uh-huh. And I let her. I said, yeah. So he flies to Cincinnati and he shadows me to the day. And he goes out and he raises a million dollars and he does really well. Um, come to find out, um, he was the former uh, counsel out of the Charlotte Bobcats, and we do a lot with sports. Um, so I, you know, to this day I always say, you know, where do we get a lot of our initial sports or some of our sports introductions? That random email that asks to come out and shadow me. So uh, sometimes, you know, um, giving back kind of comes back to you um, 10 times fold. That's true. I like that message. Well, thank you so much for coming out, flying all the way from Cincinnati, Ohio. <laughs> we do appreciate it. Thank you. Yes, you're welcome. It's Rodney Williams, CEO of Listener, and you are on with BE's The Code. Awesome. 